You're watching 21 Questions with Faith Evans. Let's go. What's your morning routine? I wake up, brush my teeth, go work out, come home, wake up my son for school, pack his lunch. When he gets in the van, I might have a morning glory, amen. Since you're black and Italian, do you prefer pasta or fried chicken? I prefer pasta over fried chicken. What was your first big purchase? Wow, I think my first big purchase was my Toyota 4Runner. How would you describe fame? Fame is people knowing you, but not necessarily for something that's good or worth being known for. What's the most endearing compliment someone can pay you? That I am a good person. What's your guilty pleasure? <laughs> Scrubbing the bottom of my feet <laughs> and wiping my walls with Fabuloso and bleach. <laughs> How do you formulate ideas for your songs? My ideas for songs come by way of so many different things. Uh, conversations, I might see something on TV, uh, very, very things. What are the keys to successfully creating an R&B hit record? For me, it, it's uh, great melodies, catchy melodies, um, a good hook. Which hit record do you wish you would have recorded that belonged to someone else? Oh my goodness. Mm, any Stevie Wonder song. <laughs> I just call to say, I love you. What's your go-to ad-lib in the studio? Oh! If you were in a super group with two other artists, who would they be and why? Yikes! You know, I've actually thought of this group in several different ways, so... Mm, pass. <laughs> pass. Of the new generation, which female R&B artist gets your co-sign and why? Yikes. I would say Jasmine, if she's considered of the new generation, Jasmine Sullivan, just because she just dope. What do you know for sure about music? That it is universal, a universal language that touches everybody. What's your funniest memory of you and Whitney Houston together? <laughs> Sitting on my balcony in Alpharetta, Georgia with her and Bobby Brown and some of my girlfriends. And their banter was very, you know, just Whitney and Bobby, you know? They just, they, they, it was just a loving, I'm a tell you off type of way, type of thing they did. And they, they announced that they were about to do, they were thinking of doing a reality show. And I just remember saying, y'all just did the whole first episode right here in front of us. So, <laughs> so it's gonna be great. If Biggie were alive today, outside of music, what other creative platforms do you think he would have conquered? Wow, I mean, I think Big would have certainly been a, 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 a record executive. I don't know, I mean, I ain't even, it might be even safe to say he, he might have he might have not even wanted to, he, he used to say he, he wasn't gonna rap no more after a couple more albums or something. When he set everybody up and start making his money the way he wanted to. So I don't know, maybe he wouldn't have been making records, but then he may have said, you know what, I'm gonna do like these other guys and say I'm retiring and come back and do an album, you know? The King and I would have been the King and I for real, for real, you know? What's the most important thing you've learned from Puff? <laughs> to be about that paper. What's your strangest fan encounter? My strangest fan encounter, oh my God. No shade to the young lady because I appreciate everybody that chooses to support and love my music. But there was a young lady who came to a few shows. I don't know if she gets all the same replica tattoos of artists. And then she has this big book with like pictures of her and them. And then she had like a few tattoos <laughs> like mine, which, you know, that's kind of, cool, I guess. You know, I'm cool with my fans. Like, I hang out, we can sit at the table, have a few drinks, you know. Some of them we text back and forth, you know. But this night, you know, I didn't let her hang out with us, and the girl got upset or something. Like, you know, I offered to get her a ride home and everything. But I think she was, like, crying, and she was just having a fit because when we chose to, like, I'm, I gotta go home, I got kids. Like, she, it was just strange that the lady would think that I'm not gonna go home, or maybe she thought she was going home with me. I don't know what she thought, but I've never been through anything like that. That was a little weird for me, because, I mean, it's usually all cool. Like, they appreciate that, but it wasn't quite enough for her, so. How did Stevie J propose to you? How you know I didn't propose to him? 
we just said after saying we were gonna probably get married a few times, we just did it because we were in Vegas and we just said, let's just do it. What has being a mother taught you about yourself? That I certainly um, have, have patience, you know, because a, a child can't fully express their emotions. So, you know, you kind of, as a parent, you have to kind of be able to have a finding out spirit, amen. You know, what's wrong, amen. <laughs> you got to be a little bit conversational and try and figure things out where when you're dealing with a child. What's the most recent life lesson that you've learned? That you never stop learning. How would you like to be remembered? As a cool ass chick from the bricks. A lot of people call you a legend and I was just curious, are you able to receive that? I can certainly receive the compliment of being called a legend. I think if, if there had ever been any, uh, you know, me not being able to receive it, it probably was because it's like thinking like, well, dang, I, I'm not that old, you know, but I'm, I'm not that young either. <laughs> but on the same, by the same token, um, I think it's certainly a, a term of respect, you know? If, if you could be a has-been, <laughs> as opposed to a legend. And whether I was making records now or not, if someone thought I was a legend, that means that I did something that made a mark. Being a legend, that, that I wouldn't take it as a term of endearment if it didn't feel right. Well, I agree with the people. You're a legend. Thank you. Thank you. Can we insert some applause? Yay. Yay.